Hey folks, big news coming out of the Middle East today. Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian has decided to skip a major summit in Saudi Arabia, citing a busy schedule. Instead, he's sending Vice President Mohammad Reza Arif to represent Iran. Now this summit isn't just any meeting, it's a gathering of the Arab League and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, set to take place in Riyadh on November 11th. The main focus? The escalating conflict between Israel and Palestine. So why is this significant? Well, Pajeshkian conveyed his regrets to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in a phone call, expressing hope for stronger bilateral relations. The Crown Prince acknowledged Pajeshkian's constraints and highlighted the importance of their evolving relationship. Sounds pretty diplomatic, right? This move comes at a time when tensions in the region are incredibly high. Israeli military actions in Gaza and Lebanon have intensified, and the summit is expected to address these developments head-on. Leaders from over 50 countries are coming together to discuss potential solutions. Even without its president, Iran's participation underscores the summit's importance in addressing this crisis. During the summit, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman didn't hold back. He strongly condemned Israel's military actions, calling them a massacre and demanding an immediate ceasefire. He also urged the international community to recognize Palestinian statehood, stressing that lasting peace hinges on justice for all parties involved. Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Gate and Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikadi echoed these sentiments. Mikadi emphasized the dire situation in Lebanon and the urgent need for international support. Iran's Vice President Aref, representing Iran, also condemned Israel's actions, labeling them as organized terrorism. This summit is more than just talk. It's a platform for leaders to present a unified front and communicate regional expectations to the international community. The focus is on dialogue and de-escalation, crucial steps in resolving the ongoing conflict. So what's next? We'll have to wait and see how these discussions unfold and if they lead to any concrete actions. One thing's for sure, the stakes are high and the world is watching closely. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. See you in the next one.